Lake of Death. This is a Norwegian horror film from Canopy Films, released in North America on March 6, 2020. Uh, produced by Frederick Pricer. It was written and directed by Nini Bullrobson, I think is how you pronounce her name. And she's done a few other films like Amnesia, uh, Manhunt, and You Said What? And other films I've never heard of. So, yeah. This Lake of Death basically is the story of five groups of friends who go stay in a cabin in the woods. Big shocker. Um, and where there's a catch though. At this lake, it's where one of the girl's brothers drowned. So it's her trying to face reality, move on from it. But then she has premonitions of his death and uh, other weird things are happening to people in the cabin. And that's basically what I have to tell you. Because this film's filled with North American horror cliches and is a complete boring snooze fest. It's not compelling at all. This is a remake from like some film from the 1950s apparently too. But um, yeah, it's there's nothing new here. It's stuff we've seen before just in Norwegian language. <laughs> and uh, it's just boring and unimaginative and... I absolutely hated it. <laughs> oh, what a waste of time this was. It's on Shudder, too, which is disappointing. Because I was hoping... Shudder, I usually find a lot of good stuff on Shudder. And stuff that's not sponsored by it. But, uh, yeah. This was so cliche and dumb. There's... It's more of a mystery thriller, too. It wasn't really, like, a jump scare sort of film or anything. And, uh, it was a little bit predictable, to say the least. Um, yeah, I just thought it was complete boring. You know, it was a little artsy, which is cool. Like, it had some cool shots, and the cinematography was really well done. I think the story itself needed a lot of work. It was all over the place. Jumps back and forth with, uh, memories and bullshit like that. That happens in every modern film, which drives me insane. And, uh, yeah, it's basically your crappy... It looks like your crappy North American production with no heart done with in a Norwe in Norwegian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have very much else to say. I absolutely hated it. It was boring. Too cliche for me. Waste of time. If I was going to rate this, I'm only going to give this a one. Stay away from it. It is not worth your time. Um definitely i'll link a trailer down below if you really want to see it and if you really want to see what i'm talking about maybe you might love it i don't know it's on shutter so check it out if you really want to but i would so lake of death one i just don't want to talk about it now so that's that what a disappointment and yeah trailer's linked down below if you really want to check it out and my instagram's linked down below where i post clips of usually a lot of good movies <laughs> um that i'm going to review in the future on my story so make sure you follow me there i also post some other weird pictures and stuff on there so if you really want to see those um yeah um yeah like this video share it if you really want to subscribe because you never know what the hell i'm going to talk about next usually it's about better stuff so yeah oh yeah by the way this film is better than Cat Abbott Fever 2. That's still the worst in the ranking uh, so far. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, comment down below if you agree or disagree with my opinions. If you've seen it. And comment other films you want to hear my opinions on. Check, uh, comment those down below too. I'll try my hardest to get them as soon as I can. But now it's time for a little break. Um, I'm a little dis too disappointed with this one, so I'm probably... I have no idea what I'm going to review next, so... I'm going to go and actually spend, probably spend a day at the lake where probably more scarier stuff would happen than anything in this film. So, I'll see you in the next review, eventually. <laughs>